welcome Saratoga. Uh, as we work through the process here on this uh, new Zoom platform, uh, we always run into a few technical difficulties, uh, but we are all here together now, so I think we're in a good space. I'm accompanied this morning uh, by our city manager, James Lindsay. Morning, hey, James. Um, so, as is our custom, I want to start with what's going on in the world with respect to the virus, but then we're going to get to what's going on locally. Um, we are going to talk about local businesses today, so I've got a lot of important, uh, important information. So everybody follows the numbers, and I don't want to get too much into the numbers, um, but the United States as a whole, the, the spread of the virus is sort of shifting around. The hot spots of New York and New Jersey um, are still are still facing a lot of people with the virus, but their new cases are declining relatively rapidly, which is a very good sign. Here in California, unfortunately, um, Southern California has taken the lead. And in the just the last day, uh, Los Angeles County alone has produced two thirds of all new cases in the state of California. And sadly, uh, San Bernardino yesterday passed Santa Clara County. Um, so the five most infected counties uh, in the state are all in Southern California now. Um, the good news is locally, uh, here in Saratoga, if we could put up the slide for that, um, Santa Clara County is doing um, an extraordinary job. The last, the last reference, you can find all this data on the Santa Clara County website dashboard. They've got this data and more. Um, in the last day, 13 new cases. It was 25 cases the day before that. Um, we have ranged between the teens and, and mid-20s, it was one day in the 30s, for the last couple weeks. So we've got this under control. The unfortunate part is there are still a significant number of people who are being treated for this. And unfortunately, there, there were four deaths locally. Um, here in Saratoga, there are 14 people who have tested positive for this. We don't have data from the county as to like who they are, where they are, or whether they've recovered from it yet. Um, 14 is, it sounds like a lot because these are our neighbors and our friends, but 14 is a, has been a pretty small number. There are 10 counties in the state of California that have no active cases of the virus, um, mostly rural California. And some of these counties have chosen uh, to move forward with the governor's plan um, to uh, open up under the new rules businesses. Um, some of those openings sound a, a little more aggressive than we're seeing here locally, uh, but I think their individual circumstances do warrant that. So what's going on locally? Um, I have mentioned uh, the bit about we are sort of under control. And, and again, I just want to send you to this website. Um, but there's a few things I want to talk about. So first off, I've been asked, how does somebody go get a test? We hear about the drive-ins. Uh, you know, we all know there's a new, a new drive-in testing facility set up at the James Lick High School. There's one down in Gilroy, Christopher, Christopher High School. In our county, um, there are no just drive up and get test facilities. Everything has to go through a, a medical professional. So if you feel that you have some of the symptoms, and I, you know, I won't go through them because they're on every website, but you can find them on the county website, please contact your medical provider. If you do not have a medical provider, you can contact um, County Health at Valley Medical, okay? That's the first step in our county to getting a test, okay? Uh, there are places you could drive out of county and stuff, it all gets super complicated, but for your sake and for the sake of everybody around here, the, the best and easiest thing to do is contact your health provider, discuss your symptoms, and they can easily make an appointment for you for one of these drive up facilities or their numerous other facilities within the county uh, providing testing, okay? So that's, that was a question on testing. Um, I want to talk about safety. Now, we all know about the virus safety. I got to point out masks are now required inside of people's businesses. So um, if you have a mask, please wear it. Uh, they ask that we try to save all the super, the super masks, the N95s for the medical professionals, but you need a mask if you're going to be inside somebody's business. 
we're still social distancing, and I think we're going to be doing that for uh, for a couple of years till we get a vaccine that's that's in everybody. So please uh, maintain at least six feet distance between everybody. Wash your hands whenever you've been into a potentially exposing environment. Do not touch your face, your mouth, your nose, your eyes, because that's one of the main uh, ways that this virus invades the body. Um, if you are feeling sick, unwell, please self-isolate. A mask is not sufficient protection for you or the people around you. Um, and a mask is a help, but it's not the definitive stay safe answer. So if you're feeling unwell, stay home. Um, there are not many people on the roads these days. Open roads seem like they're, especially in the summer, becoming more of an invitation for fast driving. And I wanna just caution people. Uh, the Highway Patrol has seen a massive surge of speeding tickets over 100 miles an hour. We within Saratoga on our local streets are seeing um, additional speeding. And so we're deploying the sheriff in different places uh, to, to sort of curtail that. But it really is, a, as in, it's all of us. The roads are more empty. We should be mindful and cognizant of safe driving and try to obey all the speed limits when we can. If something comes up at home, crime rates are generally lower because everybody's at home, but there are certain sorts of property crimes, uh, smashing grabs and cars that are happening in the neighborhoods. If you see anything or anybody suspicious, the first choice is to call 911. Our sheriff is available and ready to respond to any calls within the city. Um, fire is a big issue. And right now we're in preparation for fire season. And so make sure you have your defensible space. In a future show, I'll try to get the fire department on and we can talk a little bit more about that. Now that we allow outdoor gardeners and stuff, it should be pretty easy to get the weeds taken down and get your defensible safe space back. On my list, um, I wanna talk about scams. The number of uh, phone scams and internet scams, they say is up over 300%. And most of those are related to the virus. Stimulus checks, taxes, uh, unemployment. Be very, very cautious from emails and phone calls from people that you don't know. Um, and then I wanna talk a little bit about some, some of the personal things that go on within my family. And maybe these are, these are techniques that you can use. You know, I have an 86 year old um, mother-in-law. She's wheelchair bound, she has some health issues. So she's in one of the high risk categories. And we have a household with six people in it, but there's only one caregiver for grandma, okay? We limit her exposure to one person. Sure, we're all around grandma, but there's only one person that's cutting up her food. There's only one person that's helping her with her daily tasks, just to try to limit the exposure. And so, we also have one designated shopper in our family. So I am the only one in the family that goes to the grocery store. So again, it's all about trying to limit our contacts and limit our connections uh, to try and stay safe. Okay, so that was the bulk of the stuff I had there. Let me, let me turn to James, who's been sitting very patiently. Uh, now, that, now that we have uh, Outdoor businesses and contractors are now authorized in our county and, and things are starting back up within our city. How does our citizens, uh, how do they uh, get building permits and how do they get plans checked and how do they get additions started on their house? Well, well thank you, Howard. And, and we are very happy that we have our community development department staff that is uh, really promoting a virtual um, business transaction with our residents. Uh, we've also have opened up the permit center uh, to allow by appointment. Um, we do not accept walk-ins at this point still, just to keep the social distancing um, protocols in place. However, we are encouraging people who have projects underway, please reach out to us. And the best way to do that is on the city of Saratoga's COVID-19 webpage, um, where all of the information can be found on how to uh, reach one of our staff people, obtain an appointment, get any questions answered. Um, so we're really happy to be back in service in that regard. So James, contractors, um, if they need to schedule for an inspection, they are, it's the same process. They're gonna call the same phone number that they've always called to schedule for an inspection, right? Yes, that's correct. So all, all inspections for all permitted projects is, are going on now as we speak. 
Correct. There are no limitations under this new order on the type of work that can continue. So all construction is allowed. Okay, excellent. I know for a fact um, some construction companies, some of their workers are a little bit shy uh, or concerned about coming back to work in the job site. And I know that every, um, every contractor is, is complying with uh, some of the new orders. So they're setting up wash stations, they have check-in and check-out procedures. And so if, if you have a contractor on site, uh, you could ask them, uh, how are they complying with the new orders? Because there are new rules that they have to follow. So um, James, for our citizens, everybody's seen the great weather, we want to be outside. What's the status of the city parks? Open. We are, uh, parks have always been open. Uh, and the playgrounds uh, continue to be closed to reduce the uh, virus transmission. However, uh, the park, those parks that we have restroom facilities at have always been open. They'll continue to be open. Uh, we encourage people to enjoy the outdoors, go for hikes on our trails, bring your recreational equipment to play uh, within your own household so that you, it's fine being able to bring your own equipment to the parks. So we encourage that to folks to get out and hike, bike, go for a walk, uh, enjoy the open space. Okay, the parking lots are open and the bathrooms are open too? Yes. Excellent. And even the small little neighborhood parks, um, they're open as well. Yeah, no parks are closed. Everything is open. Okay, it's just the equipment. We, we, the equipment is, is, uh, is a potential vector for transmission between people. So we ask people to stay off the equipment. So that is good news. Get outside and enjoy some of what is going on in Saratoga. Okay, speaking of enjoying Saratoga, today's focus is going to be um, about business in our city. And thanks to some, some friends who are caring for the village, I do have a couple pictures I'd like to share. If we could put those up um, of the Saratoga village. As you know, we have a beautified village. And this was an effort now going on 15 years, maybe even 20 years of volunteers within our community who take their time and their efforts uh, to plant these sorts of flowers and to maintain them. So they're out there almost daily watering all the plants on the village. And in a city with a very small budget like ours, uh, this, is, this is an extraordinary thing. Uh, they brought in artists. Uh, uh, Tina, Tina Liddy actually painted this on the old San Jose. Uh, it's not old, it, well it is old, but the uh, San Jose Water Company pump building, which was the ugliest building in the village, and it's now been painted uh, with flowers to, to look beautiful. Um, and then there's color on, on some of the trees. I think I got a tree picture here. Yeah, so as, as you look at the different, the different areas and the different garden spaces within our village, again, we are unique and that our village is as beautiful as it is because of the love of our citizens, because they're the ones who put in the time and the energy uh, to get themselves out there and make it look beautiful. Now, we don't have as much cause to go down to the village because we can't go into all the shops and sit down and eat in our favorite restaurants. However, a lot of our businesses are open. And so um, we want to invite uh, Keaton. And Keaton, uh, you can unmute you're good so let me introduce Keaton he is in charge of our Chamber of Commerce and we're going to talk about business today Keaton how are you hi good morning Howard uh, I'm really good thank you um, really great to be here and uh, appreciate all you do for connecting with the community and uh, truly appreciate the uh, opportunity to be here great so we've seen some pictures the village is clearly beautiful what are businesses doing right now? You know, um, what, one interesting fact that came out um, just a day ago was that where we've gone past day 50 of being shelter in place um, with the um, shelter in place and social distancing regulations, um, businesses have had to pivot. Um, the categories that you mentioned and which James um, spoke about as well. Um, businesses being classified in terms of 
essential and non-essential and uh, even essential businesses have had to um, adapt their businesses um, in, a, in a big way. So uh, all along Big Basin Way, we have um, a range of uh, really um, good quality restaurants um, who've in effect had to shut their doors for indoor dining, but um, have made their services available through delivery or to-go services. Um, Wineries, for example, which also feature strong in our region, um, they're arranging for curbside deliveries. Um, the healthcare sector, um, we, we have um, organizations which take care of the seniors. Um, they're allowed to continue, but again, with social distancing and keeping, um, uh, hygiene standards intact, um, they're, they're absolutely impacted as well. I think a lot, a, a lot of uh, business uh, activity is really focused on staying solvent um, going forward. We have a lot of, we, we have a few large businesses um, like the large grocery stores, um, but uh, predominantly we tend to be small to medium uh, business. Um, and um, each type of business is uh, having a big focus on cost control, um, especially things like rent and employment costs, but also um, having a look to see wh what are the potential uh, opening um, stages going to be in terms of um, how when things do ease up and everyone obviously has a very positive attitude on um, as you rightly mentioned the uh, fabulous job that the county has done in terms of curtailing the spread of the virus um, so what is me, what is the new environment going to look like yeah yeah let me ask about where we are today I mean, it's probably very obvious, but I'll just remind everybody, you know, the Safeway and the CVS at Argonaut Center, they're open. They have been open all the way through this. Um, and while not every item is available at Safeway or CVS, uh, this, this, the shelves are mostly stocked and, and uh, product is readily available. And uh, I should just give a, a, a shout out to the staff at both stores who are working hard to keep the stuff there. And there's a certain amount of risk for them being at work and having customers circulate in all day. Um, but the one that's interesting in our city, we have so many small businesses and restaurants, you know, Jake's down in the gateway, you know, or, or the basin or Florentines in the village. Um, there's so many good places, the, the, the village uh, burger bar, right? Um, right. Tell us how these businesses are doing and how do we as citizens find out who's open? Because we all want to, we all want to patronize our local businesses, and we all can't cook every day. And being able to get food from the quality restaurants in our city, uh, if we knew how to find them all, we could each we could each buy something every night from each business. Absolutely, and um, I'll, I'll just start off by saying that the um, community spirit is super high in Saratoga. We experience a lot of people coming forward just like you've mentioned and ask, how can we support local business? And uh, the community generally have been doing so. Um, what we have uh, put together at a very early stage um, from the um, shelter in place uh, regulations, uh, we've, gone, we've compiled a list of all the restaurants uh, which are uh, open during this period and we haven't restricted it just to chamber members, but included the whole community, chamber, both chamber and non-chamber members. Um, the list uh, is available uh, on our website, um, saratogachamber.org. Um, it we have posted it on social media. Uh, if you were to go on Facebook, onto the Saratoga Chamber of Commerce Facebook page, um, you'll find a link to all the restaurants which are open. Um, and again, we post on other 
media like Nextdoor as well. Um, the, the impact really has been very positive um, where some restaurants, which have uh, all businesses um, like the Basin or Saratoga Meat and Fish um, have had really positive responses. They've actually paid back uh, and made sure that they give back to the community in terms of um, meals to Connor Hospital, for example, or uh, similar examples. Some of our businesses, um, they do have senior hours and, and it may just be the grocery stores, but it's my understanding that Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday mornings, um, it's Safeway from six to nine, they've been a set aside uh, for seniors. Do you know if any of the other businesses are um, having specific hours for the more vulnerable population or is it just um, gonna be curbside pickup or you know a DoorDash delivery situation. Um, the senior hours tends to be in high traffic, uh, connected to high traffic businesses like your Safeways, like your CVS. Um, it's less impact impactful for the small to medium sized businesses. Um, delivery services are definitely available, um, so that is um, something to take into account. Okay. Um, if there is a citizen who, who wants to help, what's the number one thing that they should be doing? The bottom line uh, really for our community is shop local. Um, think about promoting um, local business, um, whenever you have an opportunity. Um, one great uh, event that's coming up this weekend is Mother's Day, for example. What a great opportunity to give, um, to treat your family to meals from local restaurants, for example, or pay it forward by um, purchasing gift certificates from business, local business. Um, we have, uh, several businesses within our community which are classified as non-essential. Um, so um, think, for, for example, uh, the wellness spa that we have. Um, businesses like that, you can again pay forward by purchasing gift certificates and that would help those businesses keep going and service our community. We do have a really special uh, feel and flavor uh, within our community and um, just making sure that um, not only you as an individual uh, support, your, uh, support your local community, but whenever you're community, communicating with your family and friends, um, do the same, not just on a verbal basis, but on social media as well. Okay. So do we have a, a, a program? Is this a, instead of Taco Tuesday, it's going to be a downtown Saratoga grab and go Saturday or? or a... Right, 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 right. <laughs> uh, the, that, that is uh, definitely um, something that's coming down. Um, we're, we're actively looking at promoting um, a shop local campaign and this is where we'd invite um, everyone uh, at the city of Saratoga, uh, everyone at the community at large as well um, to help us finalize um, whatever slogan or catchphrase we'd like to come together under. Um, I know as a city um, you've been promoting Saratoga, the hashtag Saratoga together um, we're currently looking at a couple of others, um, Saratoga um, Stronger Together uh, or Saratoga Cares, but essentially the uh, message out there is to shop local. Yeah, I, you know, we all have our favorite stores and I, I always hate to shout out too many, um, but Mountain Mike's has a discount deal on pizzas on Tuesday. And um, I know Jake's has been open uh, through this whole thing. 
and there are there are so many restaurants in our village that have had to pivot and many many of them uh, are serving that amazing and great quality food but in a to-go format and so, so one, one thing uh, if i may instruct sure. is uh, on a weekly basis um so um during this period, it's been uh, quite interesting. Um, whereas people would ordinarily um, conjure up uh, with a shelter in place uh, restriction, um, that there would be less activity that's going on. Um, in essence, generally there is, but the level of communication that's going on is immense. Um, we're finding a lot of businesses are really stepping up, coming forward. Um, we, as a chamber, put out a weekly uh, email circulation and um, please connect with the chamber for details of that, uh, where we list all the businesses, like you mentioned, uh, a couple of businesses, um, we have a, a list of restaurants who have special offerings um, each week, uh, as well as other businesses which are open during this time. Um, one fun thing that we did, and again, it's open for the wider community, is uh, instead of having our business networking socials in person, we had a demonstration from Chef Daniel at the Basin on how to make a sprout and kale salad and. Uh, that was really well. Uh, yeah, uh, that went down very, very well. Uh, a lot of hungry mouths, uh, but then it was a great opportunity to uh, engage and uh, just see how everyone was doing and share experiences. So, do connect with us. Do uh, reach out. We'd love to hear from you and um, just bring the community together. It is um, apart from being a chamber, we are very much a community centered organization um, with all the community events that we put on. So um, we really um, feel uh, part of the, um, uh, really at the core of the Sar Saratoga community. And if I may, I just want to give a big shout out to um, the absolutely fabulous efforts that we have for all of our volunteer uh, board of directors, um, ambassadors and staff. Yeah, okay, excellent. I think the big thing, you know, if you're a business owner, you probably already know about uh, the chamber. If you're a citizen, you know, you may not have really realized that we have an active chamber of commerce in, in, even in our small city. Um, and so if you want, go out, reach out to the chamber of commerce. Here's their website again. You can engage with the chamber or you can find the list of all the open businesses and, and what's available within our community. So I really, really encourage everybody, take a few minutes, figure out which meal you want to do each week where you're not going to cook and connect with a local business. They all have their system and they all have their, their menus of what they can provide and how they'll provide it. There is good food in Saratoga and Together, we're going to get through this virus. And, and if we shop local, I think we can help our local businesses survive this as well. Keaton, any final comments? Um, I think in, uh, in, my, my final comment would really be, um, we are really truly appreciative of the close uh, collaboration cooperation and uh, connection that we have with the city of Saratoga. Uh, it really is a true partnership in terms of benefiting the community as la at large and uh, we really are there for uh, representing business. Uh, one final final comment would be that um, although we are a small city within ourselves within the Bay Area, we do uh, participate in a coalition of chambers um, in the Silicon Valley Bay Area. Um, and so we adopt best practice and we share best practice um, within our communities. But thank you so much for this opportunity. Yep, we are proud of our chamber and we are proud of all that you guys are doing in this, in this time of virus and time of unease within our community. And 
Uh, tonight, just so everybody knows, we are discussing as one of our council items um, some additional funding for the chamber, for Hakone, for our senior center, and for uh, West Valley uh, Community Services. Um, I might have some of those URLs to put up here at the end of the show. Um, we are truly all in this together. We are not a, the wealthiest city um, in terms of city budget, uh, but we are trying to find ways to help the organizations that are out there doing the frontline work, helping everything go within our city. Keaton, thank you to you, and thank you to all the business members of the city of Saratoga and to the public. Um, I just want to thank everybody for being with us today, and we will be back next week on Monday. Everybody have a good day. Stay safe out there. Thank you.